Oh my god. <laughs> so I just woke up a little bit ago and I was conflicted as to whether I should watch this because like you guys know how I am about spoilers. Like like for example with Glass from M. Night Shyamalan, I almost if, if it wasn't for me being at Comic-Con and it wasn't for us going to the Glass panel, I would have never watched any trailers for Glass. So uh, I'm pretty intense about spoilers, but after speaking to Sam JBS, <laughs> um, he convinced me to watch this. Uh, and I, I always nerd out about this kind of stuff. But like right now, for those in the future, it's only number four on trending. And it's already at like four. It's, it's almost about to be at 5 million views even though it was only posted like 3-4 hours ago or some shit like that just, just posted randomly by the way completely randomly like no one had any idea that this was going to drop um, this is my number one most anticipated film of the year oh boy okay here we go alright here we go y'all ready? I'm not ready oh my god I just And there's like an immediate image. It's like a beach or something. Here we go. Yeah, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but... I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Like this one. <laughs> um. Whoa. Um. I don't think that there's ever been a superhero live-action film trailer like that one. I don't know that there's... I mean, outside of... Outside of the first... Trailer for The Dark Knight in 2008. It was a teaser trailer. Outside of that teaser trailer... Um, which, for context, the, the, the very first teaser trailer to The Dark Knight... Um, there was no footage... Um, there was literally just like title cards and and audio, uh, and we got to hear uh, like a sliver of Heath Ledger's like laugh and and voice for the first time, ever, um, and that was it. 
It was a very short trailer, too. It was one of my favorite trailers of all time. Um, and I, uh, recently I was just talking about how um, Lord of the Rings Return of the King uh, official trailer is my favorite trailer, uh, favorite movie trailer of all time, period. Live action, animation, doesn't matter. It's my favorite trailer of all time. Uh, it's my most watched trailer of all time as well. But this this is, I think the Russo brothers, and I think Marvel Studios has achieved something um, truly extraordinary here. I have never seen, I mean, Endgame is, maybe with the exception of the, the, the Star Wars, you know, J.J. Abrams' Star Wars film. I mean, um, maybe with that one exception, <clears throat> Endgame is the biggest film of the year, period. Uh, I mean, if we're talking about in terms of ambition, if we're talking about like in terms of a grand scale spectacle, um, audience, audience anticipation, uh, it's the biggest film of the year, period. And um, maybe even from a budget standpoint. And I just, I don't know, not since that Dark Knight teaser trailer, I, with that one exception, I think this might be the most ambiguous trailer to a superhero film that I have ever seen. I I feel more confused. I feel just as confused as I was prior to watching the trailer. Um, I actually kind of feel more confused, especially that last shot with them in those suits. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and you, and you, and another thing that's impressive is that, like, I, I really did not like Captain Marvel. I really didn't like it. Um, I, I, uh, I did a whole review on it. Go check it out. But I really didn't like Captain Marvel. And, uh, <laughs> and, and her, her moment in this trailer was better than, like, borderline almost every moment from her own movie you know she actually looked like she fit in uh, in that scene you know i i need to watch that again give me a second i gotta let me make sure we didn't we didn't freeze up or anything all right I'm, i got i gotta watch that again because that that was a lot we're gonna watch it again and then we're gonna try to dissect this thing because what What's crazy? I just gotta say, we're just gonna watch it again. And yeah. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that RD. I didn't notice that Iron Man was there. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes.
I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I love that Captain <clears throat> Captain Marvel didn't even flinch, Dad. <laughs> that was sick. Uh, this is so good because I like Brie Larson so much. You know, what I'm she's she's great, great actress. Um, but what I don't understand. First off, those suits are banging. Um, what's weird is that I don't know if I can find. Okay, it's it's dissection time. Um, first off, I am completely thrown off by this sequence. What do you guys think is happening here? Uh, this is really weird because, like, what's it's the thing that's throwing me off is Ant Man's reaction. Ant Man is acting as if like he is compl he is just now learning about the people who've been dusted. So I weird. So I guess. Like, while he was in the quantum realm, the snap didn't affect him for whatever reason. And then he gets out somehow. And when he gets spit out, uh, I guess maybe he's in some kind of, like, 28 days later type of role. Where he's kind of perusing the world. And, and everyone's gone. And he's, you know, trying to figure out, like, when did the world go away? You know what I mean? Um, it's my best crack. But that, that's still very... What an intriguing sequence. That's really interesting. Um, I'm excited by these sequences between these two. It looks like they're taking place, I guess, in Japan, I'm assuming. Um, no, no, no telling what the hell's going on there. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't know. But this, this, that's just a, a, an awesome shot. That's just an awesome shot right there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but that's that's just... Wait! 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 My brain just got scrambled because... Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Whoa, my brain just got scrambled. That doesn't make sense. They've been dusted. Why would they show that? Weird. Whoa! I, didn't, I just now thought about that. This is a new shot, but they've been dusted. How did they... So I, I guess, I guess War Machine was was in that lineup at the end as well. That doesn't make sense. What's happening? What? Time travel confirmed? What the fuck is going on? Yo, the Russos are bending my my mind, fam. Um. Also, like they just showed Cap um, without the beard. You know, when we when we last saw. I think it's, for whatever reason, I think it may be important for you guys' conspiracy theories. It may be important to keep track of when he has a beard and when he doesn't. It's, it's hard to art articulate, but, because my brain's, like, misfiring at the current time. <laughs> but, uh, there, there's something to that. I know there's something to that. When he has a beard and when he doesn't have a beard. Because he definitely had a beard, um, when we last saw him. There might be something there. Maybe nothing. Digging the hair, fam. Um... Okay, okay. Here's here's what's freaking me out. Okay, so take a good look at the suit. Take a good look at the suit. Okay, now let's let's skip ahead. Skip ahead. <clears throat> Just give me a second. Um. Okay, okay. Now, Ant Man suit, like beneath beneath the white, doesn't that seem Ant Mantish in terms of the of the Ant Man red suit? No. Am I tripping? Like, look, look beneath the white, right? Like, let's pretend that the white is not there. The rest of the suit is very reminiscent of Ant-Man's suit that I just showed you. What? No? Am I tripping? And if that's the case, what does that mean? It, it, are, are, are they dressed like this because they're, they're gearing up to go through the, the quantum realm to, like, time travel or, like, interdimensionally hop around or something to try to fix the snap? Is, is that why it, it almost looks Ant Mantish? I'm being mind fucked right now. Let's continue. Um, yo, this, this whole moment is not only my favorite part of the trailer, but it is. The mu and, and, and they all have it. They all have it, you know? All their suits are reminiscent of the Ant Man suit. 
I think they're about to go into the quantum realm. I think, right? What th this is weird. What is happening? Um, what is happening? Is that is that Hawk guy? Is that Jeremy Renner behind Scarlett Johansson? Why is RDJ? Why is War Machine there? Why is why why is Iron Man there? This can't be a dream sequence. This has to be happening. But I'm so confused. What? Like, there's no way this moment is happening in the first 15 minutes of the movie, right? I don't... I don't my brain is misfiring. My brain is misfiring. Yeah, I think that's probably confirmed Jeremy Renner behind her. But I... Um, is there a, a, anything else I want to throw in? Um... There's a female voice speaking during some moment. I think right around here. None of us can go back. Yeah, who, whose voice is that? Let me know. Whose voice was that? I don't know. Oh, my, my brain's been turned to scrambled egg. Um, yeah, the, the whole moment where we see Ant-Man sort of like jumping on a pencil or some shit. That, I don't know what's happening there, but... I whatever it takes. Okay, I I have no idea what is happening in this sequence, but it must be pretty pretty goddamn profound. Um I I don't I don't know. I I don't know what's happening here, but it's got to be really whatever's going on here has got to be really intense. I mean, is this a sequence taking place back in time in a different dimension? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Yo, this following part with the music and like the ambiguity, the un the, the, the this this heightened sense of the unknown, this next part of the trailer is my favorite part of the trailer. It gives me goosebumps, fam. Whatever it takes. I like this one. <laughs> I, I I like that part too. But wow, wow. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's. Well, this is definitely gonna be the last trailer that I watch. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, let me let me know your thoughts down below. <clears throat> that uh. That's that's got to be one of the greatest superhero trailers of all time. I mean, it really gave nothing away. Like, and for a film this big, dog. I. Whoa. <laughs> 